Hello everyone, this is Sabrina again from Sad Soaps. Um, this time I'm making a popular favorite, I guess, um, we call it Apple Blossom Taffy. It's a blend of a couple of different um, fragrance oils, um, and I'm not going to tell you what they are, but they're fabulous. Uh, I'm already here, I have my melted oils. I didn't really go into that too much in my first video. Um, I use olive oil, coconut oil, and cocoa butter. It's a Bastille recipe, so it is um, over 70% olive oil. It's about 72. And it's everything is room temperature. Uh, my lye water is at room temperature. Uh, I have everything ready to go. And so let's get started. First I'm going to add my lye water. And I do strain it just to make sure. I do reuse these containers, so sometimes there's leftover soap, etc. So it doesn't take too long to get to trace. I'm going to um, just put it to a light trace, meaning um, um, where all the oils and the, the lye have come together to make uh, like a pudding-like texture. But I'm going to leave it fairly thin so that I can separate into four separate colors. Okay, so this is going to get a little loud. I apologize. Let's get the air out of there. Because you see, when you're mixing it together, it starts to come amalgamate, come together. It doesn't take long. Now I do use room temperature oils. This gives me longer to um, to play with them. Although that can be a little frustrating when you want it to thicken up fast and it's not because it's cold. Well, the, the oils and the lye are pretty much mixed together. It doesn't, there's no standing oil on the top. It's good enough. I don't want to get it too thick. So the colors are going to be less than the cream color. I'm going to leave this just as its own natural color. And this is basically my soap when it's um, when it's done curing. So that's what color the base will be. That's always white enough for me. I could use titanium dioxide, but I prefer minia, minima, sorry, minimum ingredients if I can get away with it. So I'm just going to pour some off for each. This is going to be done with a drop swirl. Really simple, but really pretty. So one of these is going to be done in lilac. This is an ultramarine. I find that ultramarines aren't um, as effective as the oxide, so you generally do need a little more. Once I have the, the soap, the colors that I want, at that point then I'll add the fragrance and start to mix. Luckily with cold oils, it gives me a lot of time to play with them and that way I can get it the color that I want. You can see it's 
see it is starting to come purple here. And I want it more purple. I don't want to add too much either because <clears throat> I do have these um, dissolved in olive oil and that starts to play with your, um, with your count as well. But I always do leave just a little bit out so that I can play with it. What do you think? Is that a good enough purple or should I go just a dab darker? Maybe a little bit darker. Dab. A dab darker. I will put the um, the blender to it. That does bring out the color too. There we go. All right. So that one's looking good. Now, green oxide. You never need as much as that as you do any of the other colors. Let me start with a little bit. The chances are. Here's what's left on there. I'm going to make it nice and dark. It's amazing how that spreads. That's what I'm doing here. Sorry, I'm a lefty. I have my camera ran off to my left. Alright, so the last one is chromium green oxide or hydrate. Uh, yes, hydrated. Chromium, so it's like a turquoise color. And I just love this one. Now this one I just refilled recently, so we're not going to need a lot there. Put on some glue. I do want this one to be different from the green, so you can tell the difference. But pastels. It's not meant to be outrageously dark. Alright, so all I have to do is measure out my fragrance and I'll give these guys a quick zip to thicken them up just a little bit more and then we pour. See you in a couple minutes. Alright, so I have my fragrance measured out. Now I'm just going to add a little bit to each of the buckets and then I want to give the buckets a bit of a zap with the dryer because it is still a little thinner than I wanted it to be. There we go. Now as I said this is a, a blend of a couple of different and fragrance oils. It smells like apples and sweetness and a bit of the, like tropical sweetness. Okay, coconuts, but maybe some pineapple in there. It's certainly a delight and it's definitely a favorite. I have a hard time keeping it on the shelf. Give it a bit of a buzz. It's going to get loud. So we can just thicken it out just a little bit here. We don't want to get air in there though. We just want to thicken it. It's 
thicker and syrupy. Now I don't want it quite heavy pudding because I want to swirl them together. By simply pouring them together in the mold. So I'm going to set this in the green because I'll blend that one next. But let's pour this one into the mold. This one's going to be the base. as I can because I really don't want to take a chopstick to this, although I will, I think, anyway. Okay. Oh. All right. One more to go. It's already starting to get thickened. Pour it from high up and it should get far down. Oh, look at that. Actually, I don't think I am going to take the chopstick to it. Maybe just the top a little bit. Fresh apples in Hawaii, that's what I'm imagining, an apple orchard in Hawaii. And considering it's deep winter in Canada, that's pretty amazing. I'll take you there. <laughs> Alright, so 
I am going to smack this. But the best way to do that is to put down the cloth because it's not too loud. I just want to make sure that you've got all the bubbles up. Alright, oh, some big ones came up. That looks really, really good. Shall we chopstick swirl this? I want to, it's almost too pretty. Just the top. Now, I do want to add my toppings. I don't want the, it to be, I don't want them to sink down too much. So, I'm going to leave this soap for about 10 minutes or so, just so that thickens up just a little bit, so that when I add my curls, um, that they don't sink. All right, so I'll see you again in another 10 minutes, and we will decorate. All right, so, uh, she's thickened up enough that I can put the curls in and I can um, texture the top a little bit. And then I'm going to put some sparkle, some white diamond glitter, um, and um, soap shavings just to decorate the top. So here I'm just shaping the top of the bar. I do like to have it rounded. I don't want to play with it too much because I don't want to turn the top into mud and I know that it looks so pretty and I had to go and stick my spoon in it. Fortunately though, I didn't want to have just a flat top. Again, I am left handed so I apologize. I'm just putting a little bit of texture in the top here. So pretty. Alright. That's about enough of that. And I have 18 curls here. There's going to be 18 bars in this. I get 18 bars out of this loaf, I should say. And I want each of them to have curl. touching it for anymore. And let's put some glitter on the top. These days I'll get a little shaker thing for this. For now, go 
feel like I get more control. Nice yeah, spoon. All right, so the last thing that we do for this particular soap is we pretend it's a pizza. We'll just give it a little bit of shavings. Mm. With confetti curls. Alright. 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 There she is. Apple blossom taffy. to cut up a blossom taffy. As you can see, uh, she's solid. First I'm just going to take just a tiny bit off the end because I am using my wavy cutter. <laughs> there we go, kind of. And I did want the end piece to be a little wavy as well. I'm just going to line it up with the uh, curls a little bit as well. Let's see what we have inside. Mm. Pretty. 